Morning everyone, um, you're at, not at the allotment as you can see, uh, we're at home and I'm just giving you an update on our sweet peas and air seed potatoes. If you just look at these now, they have gone mad, absolutely mad. I have to keep turning them daily because they keep bending towards the light. Um, but they're really doing well. I soon have to nip the tops out of them to uh, encourage more growth from the bottom so they'll become thicker uh, plants. I'll just turn you around, excuse the carpet. That was a daffodils outside. Here's their seed potatoes. They're uh, slowly chitting, as you can see. Oh, no. There we go. Nice black, or well, dark chits, I should say. You don't want any white ones because uh, they're uh, they're no good apparently. Yes, but they're all coming on nicely, as you can see. Screws are shaking. I'm having to lean across them. There we go. Yeah, lovely chits on those, and uh, and some on those. Not so much on these ones. These uh, we bought in the. Uh, bags, <clears throat> but these were all hand picked from a garden centre only about 11 miles away from us. It's a nice little drive out. Picked our seed potatoes and had a cup of tea and a piece of cake at the same time. So you've got to look after yourself. So hopefully, the next video or next section will be from our allotment. Speak to you soon. Good afternoon people, um, just thought I'd give you a quick update on the peppers as you can see then they're ready for planting on. So I thought I'd uh, just do a quick update. Um, I've got in front of me um, colour spectrum and also we have got sweet mini red. We thought we'd try and be a, a little bit um, environmentally recyclable that's stuff. That's the word thing, I'm yeah. looking for um, and we thought we'd try these wooden Lollipop sticks, really. Yeah, lollipop sticks for our labels. And as you can see... We don't like that. No, no, don't like it one bit at all. So we shan't be using these again. So that's that gone out the window. Even the one I used for as a divider. Yeah, it is not, bad, isn't it? Not really? going to be using those again. No, that's that a definite no-no. So I'm going to um, use the good old plastic. <laughs> yeah. Plastic ones. To make my hole in the centre, um, I will take out. Let's take that out so I know which ones they are. Lift, lift it up. Take it up from. Why do you always lift by the leaf, Jan? So you don't touch the the stem because yeah. it'll damage the stem otherwise. Oh, righto. Okay. Nice up bits of roots on there. Yeah, that's yep. lovely. I'm going to put them in. I'm putting them in fairly deepish yeah. into the pot. Nice and to give that. them plenty of um, chance to root down and get in. This is the good compost we're using. Still using the Leventons. Give it a gentle push down. Only gentle, you have to be rough with them. They're still young plants. Um, there we go. He looks quite happy, doesn't he? Yep, um, I'll label them up um, using, as if Mike pans around and shows you. Okay, we've been labelling them up. Oh, Those yeah. are the other peppers that, little lot. that I did. How many is there, John? Earlier, I think there's 17. There's two different varieties there. Oh, right. Oh. Um, there's the um, Romano mixed peppers, and there's also the. Um, oh yes, it's the. Um, What's that? Zoom into it. Whoops. Let me out there. I'll learn this zoom one day. The corn. Toro Rosso Pepe. Okay. Pepe. Okay. Yeah. Um, they need a good water, so I may just put it on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give them a good soak. They're going to come back into this tray afterwards, um, and once we've finished, I'll um, show you where we are with it. Um, so I'll just crack on. You don't need to see me putting on. Everyone's doing it at the moment, so I will show you once we've finished. See you in a bit. Right there we go, guys. We're in our porch which is uh, an ideal place to put these. They're the peppers the wife has uh, potted on. 
they've all got the little blue labels on them so we can't get them mixed so hopefully uh, I'll be showing you the tomatoes and cucumbers we used to use done at the moment so see you in a minute okay so these are the seeds that we have done today um, these two little sections we've done which are four pots and each they are the cucumbers these are the uh, Lediva ones these are the outdoor varieties so I've got the round little top we're going to try heat it yeah so these are all heated this is a heated tray so these are our tomatoes so San Marzono um, which is a, a plum tomato so that's going to be for mine making my sauces that's a bumblebee mix that's a new one to us we've not grown that one before so that's that little stripy one if you remember um, this is crimson crush which is our favorite which we had great success with um, last year so looking forward to happening again and this is their mom mandy and again we grew these last year as well so they're all in the heated propagator add some bottom uh, add some water from the bottom and they've sucked it all up so they must have uh, wanted it and as you can see they've all started generating a little bit of heat already because they're starting to steam up so that's our seeds that we've done for today um, um tomatoes and cucumber so thank you very much okay this is just um really a little question that i wanted to ask and it's regarding the seeds um we've had and as you can see from my box, it's it's quite full. Um, I've got quite a different variety of um, seed companies I've been using. Um, and I'm not picking out any particular company whatsoever. It's just a question I wanted to ask people. Uh, we've started um, sowing your seed, our seeds, as you've seen um, on the video um, today. Um, and one thing I've, I've noticed, and it's something I always look at, um, because it's the amount of seeds you're getting in a packet, and obviously the costing, and this is the, what's brought, um, really brought to my attention. Crimson Crush, we grew these last year, we had a really, really great success with them. Um, but for 3 99 for a packet of 10 seeds, it's not cheap. And you can't get these cheap, you have to order, I have to order these. So, and um, when I had them, you know, I opened up the packet, as everyone does, Empty. It's a blank packet, nothing on the packet to say it's Crimson Crush whatsoever. Well, I had the shock of my life today. I started sowing the seeds, and I think I've sown 15 seeds easily in there today. And I must have at least another 15 or more seeds there. Yeah. yeah. Now it says on the packet 10, ten seeds. seeds. Yeah. Now, yes. It does say contains, actually it doesn't even say approximate, it just says 10 seeds, contains 10 seeds. There we go, yeah, 10 seeds. So it does beg the question, yes I've been really lucky, which is fantastic, because I'm not going to use all of those in one, one time this, because I'm growing various different varieties. Like with this one, it said 10 seeds, and I did get, 10 seeds so that's it brilliant but my question is really for how much you're paying for these seeds is that really crimson crush mm -hmm. you know i'm getting three times the amount of seeds for what they say i should be getting in the packet I'm and i'm just wondering if anybody else is experiencing the same thing as me and i'm not just saying just these in particular you know Johnson's exactly the same. They're, they're all different. They're this, all the same. I'm not that's picking out just one company by no means. I just wondered if anybody else is experiencing the same sort of thing. That whatever it says on the seed packet, it doesn't necessarily mean what's going on inside. Um, and also that in the packets inside, like these, it does say Aldiva. So you can. S yeah, you can tell it's actually that seed. I know it doesn't there. necessarily mean that there is going to be that this seed is actually Aldiva. We just assume it is because that's what the company says it is. But 
just a few questions really I, I just probably may but I just wondered if anybody else was having the same thing that they were having either a lot more seeds than the packet says or a lot less seeds than the packet says just a question just wanted to put it out there well hello and welcome to bookends allotments we're here on this beautiful sunny day I'm just walking down to the greenhouse where we uh, will show you what's happening with the onions and garlic things looking good that was what I erected yesterday the onion and garlic bed it was further down had to do a little few adjustments but it was where was it it was where the dome one is now we've moved the dome one down two beds and we've made this one uh, onion and garlic bed which I'll be showing you how we get on with the garlics later on but let's have a look at them in the greenhouse look at them beautiful pallets he's going to get me some more of those the wife wants me to make a uh, coal frame for her here we go it is 35 C let's see if we, whether you can see that guys 35 C it got to, down to 3.5 minus 3.5 last night there we go, they are all really starting to sprout. We should have had the garlics in a lot sooner than this, but with things that have been happening, weather, and just never got round to it. And here is our little, little leeks. I don't know whether you can see them. See if I can zoom in. There we go. There they are. Just slowly coming up. Yeah take you underneath oh sorry about the creaking old knees there we go they're all starting to look rather reasonable even the shallots well welcome back I said I would show you the garlic in there we go I'll zoom in a little bit so they have to excuse the shaking there they are there are some which are buried right in but uh, we'll see how they come on you have to excuse the noise, there's a sports centre quite uh, nearby and they're having a bit of a sports day. So I wish you around, show you a couple of things we have done over the past couple of days. Um, the missus had some blueberry bushes brought to her by a very good friend of hers and we have now got those in the cage. Let's zoom in and show you, there we go. It's got wood chip round the bottom, round the top of it, I should say. Apparently, it uh, helps with the acidity because it likes acidic soil. So I'll zoom in and show you which ones. Whoops! I'll learn this soon one day. That's the type we're having. Okay, so yeah, it's slowly getting there, and it is too, too nice to be going to work tonight. I tell you that. I've also put on the sticky bands on the fruit trees. If you guys have fruit trees, it is well worthwhile putting them on because it stops the sticky little blighters crawling up into your fruit and ruining it for you. The two mounds that you can see, they're not molehills, they are um, dahlias. There we go there, so that's a better picture of him. Sticky, they are very, very sticky. You'll need the gloves. Some of those uh, disposable gloves. Because, boy, if you get it on your hands, it's a swine to get off. So, everything is looking all nice. Just waiting for even more sunshine that we get in today. Because they say it's going to be going colder again. Let's walk you down and show you some of my dafts. Only a few of them coming out. But... He's beautiful. So, there we go. Let's zoom in. Look at that. Beautiful little head on that. He is. So, hopefully the others will follow suit. As you can see them all down there. Slowly coming up. Yes, it's a beautiful day on the plot. Just makes you feel like just sitting down, having a cup of tea and a piece of cake 
and watching it grow. Okay, so I'd like to thank all our subscribers and our new subscribers to our channel. Very grateful and I'm hoping you're enjoying our little videos. We try to be as um, informative as we can. We are still learning from other people, so have a look at ours, the ones we've subscribed to, and you may learn a lot more from them, like we have. So, from Jan and myself, it's bye for now.